Hello everybody, it's Sanier, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about this article on fizz.org published today discussing about how CRISPR-Cas9 could be dangerous and why base editing is and could be potentially safer. I want to talk about all of that here in this video. And of course, this article here is titled has a potential danger of CRISPR genome editing and why base editing may be safer. So I found this idea to be quite intriguing and I think it's worth looking at, at this article. Of course, this is a known publisher. So I went over it. Uh, so obviously they're referencing to a study that was published a couple of days ago, basically last week, June, uh, over a week ago, June 27 on Nature, uh, warns a potential previously undiscovered danger of CRISPR editing. Uh, I would argue with that statement, I think CRISPR-Cas9 has been known for many years at this point that it does do form, uh, some significant forms of translocations. It's been found in the past, even some company CEOs have commented on that statement alone. So that's nothing new here, but of course, uh, this article is going to do everything here to make its story relevant. That's exactly what they're trying to do here, sort of, you know, having a recency bias here trying to you know affirm their point from a recent article there um, but nonetheless here if we go through the article they're talking about what this uh, study was able to check and it was for the first time that the technique can cause large rearrangements re of dna through a process called reach retro transpose decision rearrangements occur when breaks in dna are repaired allowing mismatches in to join. While these events caused by CRISPR were uncommon, occurring up to 5 to 6% of the time in the study experiment model, they can theoretically, theoretically trigger cancer. So that's bad. We take a look here and they say, uh, we say that if, if there is a it's argued here that for blood disorders, for example, um, you these types of therapy you target you know millions of cells, right? And it in this case you edit a few million blood stem cells. Obviously, we're referencing to ex vivo approach from uh, hexacell or CTX from CRISPR therapeutics here. Um, but then they say you know when they re infuse to the patient to initiate a tumor. You may just need one cell with a transposition event. So basically, it, a, basically you mess up one cell and you could, you know, initiate a tumor, which is obviously alarming. This is what a lot of bears on the CRISPR-Cas9 technology have been repeating for the past years, right? And that's why we've seen the shift to supporting companies like Beam Therapeutics, uh, obviously in base editing and so on. But here's the thing, right, you guys, here's the thing. And of course, I don't want to bore you guys with the whole article here. I mean, I, you guys can go over it. Is, you know, they, they put this section, is base editing safer, right? And they talk about why, you know, base editing here, the translocation events were detected less than 0.01% of the time. They were even less frequent than prime editing. But, and they said that they're much safer but here's my problem in this article, and this is where I know a lot of people will say, well, you know, it's still technically safer. So obviously, if the numbers are 0.01%, that is technically, technically, it is safer, right? They say, stated from that research 5 to 6%, and you're going all the way down to 0.01%. So obviously, that is safer, right? Obviously, that is safer. But here's my problem. Let's pull up the calculator here. Here's my problem. 0.01%, right? You you basically put that in decimal, you multiply, basically it's in percentage, right? That's the, the decimal number of 0.01%. Here's the thing though, for a blood disorder, which we know beam therapeutics are working on. In this case, they're ta talking about targeting a few million blood cells. Let's just say for conservative reasons, let's just say 1 million, right? So there's 1 million cells to edit. Well, based 
on their percentage and based on their logic and based on their statement on CRISPR-Cas9, even for base editing, which is 0.01%, put that in decimal, multiply that by 1 million cells, which obviously it's more than that because they said a few million cells, you still get 100 cells that may be potentially, potentially translocated. Basically, you have 100 cells that were edited that things have gone wrong. And based on their statement here, one cell with a transposition event, one cell, so you have 100 cells, and that's for base editing. Is it safer than CRISPR-Cas9 based on 5 to 6% versus 0.0%, 0.01%? Absolutely. But is it, quote, unquote, safer based on their calculations here? It's not. You still get cancer because you just missed 100 cells out of a few millions. And that's by this logic, right? And by this logic alone, if that was really the case, why hasn't CRISPR Therapeutics reported any of these in all their patients that were those, right? Talk about a few million cells, right? You do that multiply by over 70 patients that were dosed. You know, how many millions is that? Like even 1 million cells, you do 70 million cells that were edited. And I guess no translocations happen because no cancer was, that no tumor was initiated due to CRISPR-Cas9. So that's what I'm, I'm trying to get at. You know, these articles, they do a good job, you know, trying to do a clickbait there and trying to do, a, they're, they're doing a good job covering a research paper, but it just feels like sometimes they have a story to tell rather than telling a story, right? They must seek for that story to tell instead of actually having a story to tell based on facts and science. And I think just the fact that they weren't able to previously quote previous CEOs or individuals in this space talking about translocations just shows me that they haven't done their homework here. And what they're doing is just grabbing the latest research paper about translocations and so on. And basically now they're, they're trying to find a way to to justify why CRISPR-Cas9 is not safe and base editing is safe, although we just went through basic math here based on their statements, that that is not the case. You know, you need one cell to initiate a tumor, so you're still having 100 cells with base editing based on that math. So, I don't know. It's really weird. It is what it is. That's what I'm going to end this video. Hope you guys appreciate this video. If you did, like this video, smash that like button, destroy that like button subscribe if you're not and i will see you guys in the next video have a beautiful beautiful day thank you